Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's Joe and Lisa at Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Hey, we're coming to you today about uh, rolling power outages here in Ecuador. I'm going to tell you what we know about it so far. Um, we knew they were kind of planning this, but then it just popped up yesterday that it's happening today. <laughs> and it will happen every single day until at least mid-December? Well, until the rains come. So El Nino is the gift that just keeps on giving. And you know, we've had uh, a decent rain the last two nights. We're praising that. Finally, no more smoke in the air. And what happens now? We're going to lose our power. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if it is not one thing, it's another thing, to quote Rosanna Dana. Yeah, so we run primarily on um, hydroelectric. So no water, no power. Yeah, so uh, the major hydroelectric dam here is uh, right outside of Cuenca. And it is running at about 40% capacity right now. That's a huge problem. Um, they said that the rains that we've had are like a drop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a huge hydroelectric construction product uh, project that's been happening since 2010 down in the Amazon, about 100 kilometers east of uh, Quito. And it is called the uh, Cola Cota Sinclair project. And so it's Chinese built. They're having lots of problems and they still haven't fixed them all. And evidently the Chinese get paid either way. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've been reading in articles. So if that's true, I got to wonder about the lawyer who let that contract go through. Well, and I have to wonder about all that whole solar farm. I mean, we've not solar farm, wind farm. Yeah. There is a huge wind farm here. Where's the power? Yeah, in, in Loja, there's a big wind farm and they claim that they're running, you know, half the city on that. And yeah, I guess not because they're going to be doing, going through the same thing we are. This yeah. is nationwide. Um, some areas are going to be four hours, but it looks like the latest thing that we received today says we're only going to be three hours here in Loja mm -hmm. every single day, starting today at 11 o'clock. Until they get more water. So we will um, let you know if that actually happens today at 11 o'clock. <laughs> we'll be waiting with bated breath. It's going to kill the restaurants here now. Oh, yeah, because our time is 11 to 2, the lunch hour. But yeah. it's all of, looks like all of Loja, all of Vilcabamba, our whole area is going to be, I think even Saraguro is on that list. So that's a pretty broad swath for 11 to 2. And but, the last time they did this thing was back in 2010, and as I understand it, they did two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. To me, that would seem like a smarter approach to be less impactful on things like freezers and yeah. restaurants and business. Well, it just goes to tell you that um, always have your backups in place. So when you're planning um, your home, make sure every single time one of these little hiccups come, which when we got here in 2018, um, our power went out a lot and it wasn't planned outages. It just went out a lot. And so part of trying to overcome that, because we never knew how long it would be out, we ended up with a generator. Yeah. And so we have a small generator right over here to my left. Yeah. And I've got it set up, ready to go. And we'll plug in our refrigerators and freezers into that and it's enough mm -hmm. to power those. Yeah. And we have a separate little solar system that'll handle security things. Yeah. And so, um, you know, that's what we recommend is some off-grid kind of stuff, you know, just mm -hmm. for things like this. And if you don't like the bumps and humps that come along with living in Ecuador, then, you know, you might not want to move to a less expensive place to live. I would think that I don't care where you live, you're going to be subjected to this yeah. as uh, things Eventually. start to unravel around the world. Um, mm -hmm. The U.S. certainly has had rolling power outages and will again. Um, we'll see it in Canada. We'll see it in France. We'll see it everywhere. Um, it's going to happen. So the better prepared you are for those kind of things, the less impactful that's going to be for you. True, true. At least they know what's going on. They know why it's happening. I think Naboa, the new president-elect, is saying he's going to try to um, make it to where we don't have as many of these types of problems. But from 2010 to 2023 that's not too too bad yeah so and you know Naboa keep in mind his 
term is only going to be 18 months. Yeah. He has a shortened term. And um, so he'll have to win re-election to get a full four-year term. True. So 18 months, there's not a lot you can get done. I mean... Maybe not done, but maybe, maybe started. Maybe started. He he might be able to put some pressure on the Chinese to get the uh, the power plant in the Amazon online and working. That would be a huge benefit. Yeah, yeah. All right, so um, that's all we know, and it's like always here in Ecuador, information is subject to change by the minute. Yeah. Um, so we'll let you know if something new comes up, new dates, times, anything out of the ordinary. We'll um, we'll give you a heads up, and we'll probably in about a week do an update and let you know how this is working out yeah. with the power here and uh, make sure everybody's doing fine. Yeah, getting a whole lot of information ahead of time. At least we knew as of yesterday, power would be going off today. Um, the times that that the power goes off, we think is we've got that nailed down, but maybe, maybe not. But yeah, it's different. Yeah. So if you live here, understand that's what we know. I mean, you may be getting different information than we are, but I was just sent a PDF list for each community and what hours they'd be off. We're being told right now 11 to 2. Um, a three-hour time window. Oh. Yesterday, we were being told four hours. Um, so don't know what will happen, but after today, we'll know better. Yeah, I like three hours better than four. I like three better than four. I like two and two better. I mean, I think that's reasonable, but hey, we don't make the rules. No, it's an adventure every day. All right, so that's all we have for today. Ciao for now.